Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to lay out off-center rectangular reducer duct twist that has a dimension of 1 inch by 1 and a half and then the bottom has a dimension of 2 and a half by 1 and a half it has a vertical height of 3 inches without the flange same is here we are going to draw first the horizontal line and then a vertical line perpendicular to the first line measure and mark one and a half Draw a parallel line. Draw a line parallel to the first line. And then measure two and a half. Draw a perpendicular. This two and a half inch, this one in one half inch. Then take your forty five degree triangle draw a line. And measure three quarter. Draw a 45 degree line then measure one inch and then draw a perpen a 45 degree line draw a parallel line And then measure one in one half. They will the small opening with numbers. It's one, two, three, it's four, and then Label the large opening by letters. You can make it A, B, C, C, then D. We're going to triangulate this. This is A1. You can make it A1 is our seam. I like the large opening. This is hidden line. I like the small opening.
A1 is the same. We're going to triangle like this. We need our diagram for a true length. Horizontal and then our vertical. And then measure three inches for our vertical height. Now that we are done with our top view, now that we are done with our top view, we're going to do first the A to B triangle, the one on the back. And then first thing to do is draw a horizontal line. Take the distance A and B. Then transfer here. Mark it A. This is B. Next, take the distance A2. Then transfer to our horizontal leg. Mark it A2 and then triangulate. As a swing point A, scribe an art. And then take the distance B2. Transfer to our horizontal leg and then triangulate. Mark it B2 and then as a swing point B, describe an art. And then the intersection now is in two and then take the distance one in two as a swing point two, inscribe an art. And highlight first the triangle A to B. Connect this to B. Connect A to. Next is 1 to A triangle. And then take the distance A1. And then transfer to our horizontal leg. Mark it A1. And then triangulate. It's a swing point A. Inscribe an art. The intersection. Label it 1. And then connect. Connect A1. And our seam is. A1 is our seam and then take the distance to 3 then transfer here describe an art take the distance B3 transfer here and then mark it B3 and then triangulate as a swing point B, describe an art. And then the intersection point three. 
then connect connect B3 connect to 3 now take the distance BC and then transfer here scribe an art and then take the distance 3C transfer to our horizontal leg and then mark 3C and then triangulate as a swing point 3 scribe an art and this is now point C and then connect connect BC connect 3C and then take the distance 3 4 bring here scribe an art the distance 4C and then bring here and then triangulate and then as a swing point C inscribe an art this is now 4 and then we're going to connect connect 4C connect 3 4 next is take the distance DC transfer here and then take the distance D4 transfer to our horizontal leg and then mark it D4 and then triangulate as a swing point 4 inscribe an art now the intersection is point T and then connect and then take the distance for one transfer here scribe an art and then take the distance 1D transfer to our horizontal leg that is 1D and then triangulate as a swing point D inscribe an art now the intersection is point one and then connect connect one four next take the distance AD transfer here scribe an art and then take the distance A1 transfer here and, and then triangulate as a swing point one scribe an art and label it A then connect connect one A and then connect D A And we're going to draw a parallel line for our plants and then here.